This video is brought to you by Arrive Outdoors. Looking for a family-friendly ski resort that offers more than just fun on the slopes? Then you have to check out Big Sky. Big Sky is a ski resort located in southwest Montana. Big Sky gives you easy access to activities that give you a taste of western adventures and the cowboy lifestyle. But because Big Sky is so close to Yellowstone National Park, you also have the opportunity to explore some of the most spectacular scenery in the United States. In this video, I'll cover the accommodations, the skiing, the activities, the dining, and much, much more, so keep watching. Many thanks to Big Sky for hosting us! Hey, welcome back to Top Flight Family! My name is Carmen Sinyovi, and I'm so excited to tell you all about our stay at Big Sky. And not only because it's resort number 20 of the 21 resorts we're visiting in 2021. That's right, we only have one more to go until we finish this whole series. The closest airport to Big Sky is Bozeman. With the mountains in the background, this is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful airport runways in the United States. From there, it's about an hour drive to Big Sky. Before we get into the skiing, let me show you our accommodations. We stayed in condo 8512 at Snowcrest Lodge, which undoubtedly has one of the best locations in all of Big Sky. So this building right here is where you can get rentals and also the ski school is here. And then talk about an amazing location. Look, the lift is right there. And our condo is right up there on the third floor. Couldn't be closer. There's an open concept kitchen with an absolutely massive island, which means that it can easily double as a dining table, even for a big party. There's a spacious living area with a fireplace, and I especially loved this vintage sleigh coffee table. There are two bedrooms on the main floor. Serge and I took this gorgeous room with the striking bison painting above the king bed. The second bedroom on this floor has a queen bed. Up the stairs is a loft area with a third queen bed as well as this absolutely Pinterest-worthy custom-built sleeping area with bunk beds and two additional beds. The girls love bunk beds, so of course they decided to sleep here even though they could have had their own rooms. As you can see, this condo can sleep a lot of people, so it's a great choice if you're traveling with extended family or with lots of friends. One of my favorite parts of this condo is the huge storage area right when you come in. Not only are there plenty of cubbies and hooks for everyone's gear, but there's even a boot warmer that can hold up to 14 pairs of ski boots. There's a balcony with amazing views of the ski lifts, and also a hot tub. Hot tubs are always fun, but hot tubbing when it's cold outside is especially enjoyable. When you stay at the Snowcrest Lodge, you get access to the amenities at the Huntley Lodge just a few minutes away. They have a swimming pool, more hot tubs, and also a fitness center. But of course, you don't come to Big Sky to stay indoors. Here, it's all about getting outside and enjoying all the great winter activities the resort has to offer. Skiing and snowboarding are, of course, the stars of the show here. We rented our skis, poles, helmets, and boots from Big Sky Sports Rentals, which was conveniently located in the same building as our condo. Big Sky has a fantastic school that offers skiing and snowboarding lessons for all ages, even as young as three. This is actually our second visit to Big Sky. The last time we were here, it was the winter right before the pandemic started. That time, Serge and I took private lessons with Kurt, who was fantastic, and we were fortunate enough to work with him again this time around. The girls worked with Dan, and they really enjoyed their lessons with him. In fact, he had them skiing down the big girl runs in no time at all. Serge and I are still beginner skiers, while the girls, I would say, are starting to move into intermediate territory. But none of us have actually skied since COVID, so we were definitely really rusty, and so because of that, we took it pretty easy on this first ski trip back. We started by getting lots of practice on the carpet, and then we took the Explorer lift to try our first run. Now, at this point in the video, you may have noticed that Big Sky is not exactly looking like the winter wonderland it was the last time we were here. And that's because it was about 20 degrees warmer than it typically is this time of year. Yes, we were definitely there early in the season, but usually by Thanksgiving, there's snow on the ground at Big Sky, and that definitely wasn't the case when we were here the first week of December. It was even too warm for the resort to use the snowmaking machines. We certainly didn't mind the comfortable temperatures, but the main downside for us as beginner skiers is that there wasn't enough snow on the easier runs. So if I recall correctly, last time we went down White Wing, which is a pretty easy run for beginners to practice on. Well, this time our only option was Lone Wolf, which is still a green run, but it starts with a significantly steeper drop than White Wing. I gotta be honest, I was pretty terrified navigating this part of the run. But as you can see from this footage when Ella was wearing the GoPro, she was completely unbothered. So unbothered that she never even stopped playing with the snowball she made. <laughs> 
By the way, if you're new to this channel, we're the Sinyovi family and we live in New York City. There's me, Carmen, my husband Serge, and our daughters Sean and Ella. We work full-time as travel creators and we're all about inspiring families to explore the world together in comfort and style. We share tips on how you can save time, reduce hassle, and maximize comfort when you travel with kids. If that sounds good to you, please subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next video. Our family has set a goal of visiting 21 resorts in 2021, and Big Sky is the 20th one we've visited this year. Why resorts? Well, we actually have a whole video that explains that, which I'll link below. I'll also link to our 21 resorts in 2021 playlist so you can check out all the other properties we'll be visiting. You know it's not that cold when Serge is out here in just his robe. It's not that bad. No, but look at these views, so cool. One new thing that a lot of skiers are excited about this season at Big Sky is a new lift called Swift Current 6. It's currently America's fastest sixth place chairlift. Big Sky has done some really fun things marketing-wise to roll this out. Not only do they have a whole merch line to promote the new lift, but they even partnered with local Bozeman brewery Map Brewing Company to create a custom beer just to celebrate the lift's opening. So of course, we had to get on the lift and try it out. The run up there was a little too intense for me, so I actually decided to download back to the base on the lift, while Serge and the girls skied down with the instructors. Even if you don't love skiing or snowboarding, there's a ton to do in Big Sky in the winter. Lone Mountain Ranch is a partner of Big Sky, and they offer a variety of activities that are fun for families. On this trip, we took a wagon ride in the snow. And last time we were at Big Sky, we came to Lone Mountain Ranch to try some snowshoeing. Dog sledding is another experience we tried last time we were in Big Sky. One thing that's amazing is that the dogs are so excited and hyper and loud before it all starts, but as soon as they're hooked up to the sleds and start running, they go completely silent. Another fun activity is to have dinner in a yurt, which is also something we did last time we were here. Even getting to the yurt is cool because you actually take a huge snowcat up the mountain. If you're not familiar with a snowcat, it's a big vehicle that ski resorts often use to groom the ski runs. The inside of the yurt is lit by candles and warmed by a wood stove, and there's live acoustic guitar music. Outside, you can go sledding, warm up by the campfire, and gaze at the stars. But one of the biggest reasons to come to Big Sky is that it's located right next to Yellowstone Park. Last time we were here, we did a full day snowmobiling tour of Yellowstone, and it was absolutely spectacular. National parks are often incredibly crowded in the summer, but in the winter, we had the whole thing to ourselves. It was amazing to see geysers like Old Faithful spouting in the middle of the pristine snow. There are lots of geothermal areas in Yellowstone, which basically means that there's all kind of bubbly hot stuff around. I'm sure these areas are really interesting to see in the summer too, but in the winter, it's incredibly striking to see how intense heat and intense cold can coexist in one place. Some parts of the landscape really felt like we were on Mars, with the strange bacteria, gurgling geysers, and red mud everywhere. So definitely add a tour of Yellowstone to your list of winter activities to try in Big Sky. If you don't think you can handle the tour via snowmobile, you can also do it in a snow coach. Now at this point in the video, you might be thinking, I want my kids to try skiing or snowboarding, but I'm not ready to buy a whole set of ski gear that they might outgrow by next year. Or you may be thinking, I want to try skiing or snowboarding myself, but I'm not sure if I'll even like it, and I don't want to buy gear that's going to gather dust in my closet. If that's the case, check out Arrive Outdoors. Arrive Outdoors is an outdoor experience company with a mission to create a world where you can experience the outdoors sustainably. You can rent premium outdoor gear with delivery anywhere in the continental US. They offer everything from camping and hiking gear to skiing and snowboarding gear from premium brands like Arctrix and The North Face. After a fun weekend enjoying the outdoors, just pack it all up and ship it back. They provide prepaid shipping labels and even packing tape, so returns are a breeze. Worried that your plans might change? That's okay! Arrive Outdoors offers free and flexible reservations. 
My favorite thing about renting ski gear is that it allows us to fly carry-on only, even on ski trips. We have the gear delivered straight to our ski resort, so it doesn't take up valuable space in our luggage. Visit ArriveOutdoors.com to reserve your gear rental today. But you're going, you're going to the side, not down. <laughs> When it comes to dining, Big Sky has a lot of options. Let's talk about your options at the base first. Hungry Moose is a grocery store that's a great place to grab a to-go breakfast. Montana Jack is the place to go if you want to enjoy a good burger after a day on the slopes. Vista Hall is a food hall with a variety of options, everything from pizza to sandwiches to tacos. We opted to order from the noodle bar and we enjoyed some noodle soup with pork belly. Westward Social is one of the newer restaurants here and they offer craft cocktails and elevated comfort food. We particularly like the sliders, the steak tartare, and the bouillabaisse. Just make sure that they bring you extra bread so you can sop up all that good sauce. And Peak's restaurant is located inside the Summit Hotel. They're primarily a steakhouse, but on our last visit to Big Sky, we tried out their breakfast buffet. So those are your options at the base. But if you're up for going a little further, you'll find some more great restaurants. Horn and Cantle at Lone Mountain Ranch is a great restaurant you should definitely try. It's located inside a log cabin with lots of Western decor touches like cowboy boots, saddles, and mounted heads. On this trip, we came here for a buffet lunch, which was great. But on our last trip, we had dinner here, which was excellent. For starters, we had a beet and citrus salad and a steak tartare. And for entrees, we had trout and bouillabaisse. Down in the Big Sky Town Center, you'll find some good options for Asian food. Niseko is a ramen shop, and it's one of the newest restaurants at Big Sky. They have some fun cocktails that incorporate Japanese ingredients like sake, matcha, and yuzu. The girls love the pork belly bao so much that they actually ask for another order before they'd even finish the first one. Niseko offers a variety of ramen flavors, everything from miso and shoyu to curry and spicy soups. So no matter what your preference is when it comes to ramen, you should find an option that you like here. Blue Buddha Sushi is also located in the town center, and most people come here for the specialty sushi rolls. Two of our favorites were the Dam Roll, made with seared beef tenderloin, yellowtail, scallions, and topped with wasabi aioli, and the Spicy Crunchy Lobster Roll, made of spicy lobster, avocado, and cucumber, and topped with spicy aioli and tempura crunchies. Keep in mind that Big Sky is not an all-inclusive resort, so how much you spend on food will of course vary depending on exactly what types of dishes and drinks you order and the size of your party. If you'd like to estimate food costs before you go, all the restaurant menus are available online. Pricing at Big Sky can vary a lot depending on what type of accommodations you're booking, how many people there are in your party, and what time of year you're going. So I always recommend that you start your planning process by going directly to the resort's website and plugging in some dates to see what the price ranges are looking like. You can either book directly with the property, or if there's a travel advisor or travel agent you already work with, they can help too. Okay, that was resort number 20 of the 21 resorts we are visiting in 2021. If you'd like to check out resort number 21, the final one of the year, just click that video right there. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. And follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Top Flight Family. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.